Okay, so we are going uh, live today a little bit earlier than normal. Typically on Tuesdays, I go live with a subject matter training on all but seven of the platforms that we have followers on to do like a 20 to 30 minute uh, training on like a specific subject. I will be on a plane today headed to a keynote uh, uh, that I'm doing for a big real estate company um, in Tampa Bay, Florida tomorrow. So I'll be on a plane. So I decided to come early for you. I didn't want you to think I didn't love you guys. So I came in here a little bit early to the office. I've got about 15 to 18 minutes and then I've got a freaking jet to catch my flight here. All right. Uh, now what we're going to do today is how many of you get a type personalities? How many of you get a type personalities? And when you're talking with them, you're, you're asking them really good questions, but they just don't open up to you. They just, it's like they hold all their problems. They hold it to their chest. They stay surface level with you. Even the very best questions you've learned how to ask, maybe even one of our clients that you've learned NEPQ and they're just staying surface level and they're giving you like two or three or four word answers and they've stayed surface level. And then at the end, what objections do you typically get if your prospect stays surface level with you? Because you know, you know what's going to happen. Let's all be real here. Now we're going live here on tick, the TikTok phone. We're going here on the IG phone. Love you guys on IG as well. We're going live here in our Facebook group, Sales Revolution. Got about 40,000 of you in there. We're going live here in the Facebook business page. Got about 90,000 of you on there. Going live on the YouTube channel, LinkedIn as well. All right, we got about 250,000 now on IG. You guys are growing quickly. And I don't know how many we have on TikTok. Maybe 70,000, 60, 70,000. I'm not sure. All right. So, you know. If the prospect you're talking to stays surface level with you the entire conversation, what objections are you going to get at the end? You know what? I need some time to think about it. I don't make rash decisions like this. Um, you know, I need to talk with my business partners if you sell B2B. We need to talk with the board more if you sell B2C. I need to talk with my spouse. I need to talk with my CPA. I need to talk with my uncle who lives in a van down by the river. I need to get more clothes. I need to do more research. I need to blah, 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 blah. And pretty much, 95% of those sales, you what? You never make. So what can you say or ask? Let's say you're halfway through that conversation and they're just not opening up to you. What is a technique that you can actually use to get the prospect to actually open up to you? Now, I'm going to show you a couple different techniques and I want you to write this down. All right? First of all, go down to the bottom of this video, hit the subscribe button. That's probably important for you. Hit the subscribe button and to the right of that, or maybe the left, I don't know, somewhere in there, there's like a little bell. That's your notifications button. Hit the notifications button as well so you get notified by YouTube every time I post a new training video, which I typically do two to four times a week. Write this down as quick as you can because I don't have a ton of time. Now, I'm going to give you a few generic examples and then I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you generic examples so you can plug in what you sell. Now, we train, just so you know, we train 158 different industries, including yours watching me here right now. Okay. According to Forbes, there's actually only 158 industries. I didn't know that. There's subsets of those and we're in all of those as well. So I'm going to show you some generic versions that you can copy and paste and plug in. And then I'm going to show you three or four different versions. I'm going to give you a couple B2C examples, couple B2B examples. So you can kind of see in your mind and then apply what you have. Now you want to acquire these type of skills because what we give you here in these little lives, once we get what we give you in the reels, they're very basic. They're like little nibbles we give out. They're like little hors d'oeuvres. Okay. Um, imagine a hundred and ten thousand square piece puzzle. On these lives and reels, I, I'm giving you like one piece of the 110,512 piece puzzle. Okay. So imagine what happens once you learn everything. Well, you'll make five times more than what you are now. I can pretty much assure you of that because I can guarantee you we have clients that sell what you do right now that are making two, three, five, six, seven times more than what you are now. And it's not because they're cooler or wear cool clothes or just have, you know, a really good nose. It's because they have acquired skills that work with human behavior, whereas you're still using skills that are triggering sales resistance and working against human behavior. Now, it's not your fault because that's what you were forced to learn, but it is your problem, right? Okay, so how do we do this? So we're going to lean in. Now, a lot of it is in your tone. 
Okay, because I can say what's here on the board in a, in a stern, weird tone, and it's not going to come out right. But you're going to lean in. Let's say you can't say this in the first 10 seconds because there's no trust or credibility yet. But let's say halfway through the conversation, they're just not opening up. They're not telling you what their problems are, their challenges are. So you lean in and hear my tonality. You're going to say it like this. Amy, um, but between you and I and off the record, What's the main reason why you're looking to, and then you repeat back the end result. Okay. Whatever that is for your industry. Let me do it again for you. You're going to lean in. It's important that you lean in. If you stand straight up like a robot and say, John, between you and I and off the record, what's the main reason why you're looking to possibly, well, that's not going to do it, but you lean in, hear my tone, hear the empathy the concern in my tone. Do you see the difference there? Okay. Okay. Watch this. Um, Sandra, between you and I and off the record, what's the main reason why you're looking to, and then you're going to repeat back the end result. Okay. Now let me show you a few other examples here. Okay. Here's a generic version. Let's say you get to the end of the conversation. Now it's important to say off the record. When you say off the record, it's like a it's like a journalist interviewing somebody and they say, hey, you know, off the record and we're going to turn off the recording off the record. What's and then that person get interviewed opens up more because it's not on the record. It's not real. Right. OK. All right. Now, let's say you get to the end of, the, of your sales process and the prospect says, I want to think it over. You're not one of our clients, so you have no idea how to prevent that objection yet which you might want to learn how to prevent that. It's a lot easier to sell. Or let's say that you do everything you can and you still can't overcome that. Here's your last ditch resort. And this is a generic version, not industry specific. Okay. Um, John, between you and I and off the record, between you and I and off the record, what's really holding you back from moving forward so that you can? Now, Amy, between you and I and off the record, What's really holding you back from moving forward so that you can? And then you're going to repeat back what they said they wanted. Okay. And watch how they just let their guard down. Well, Jeremy, I just have a concern about this, or I'm not sure about this. Okay. All right. We got to hurry. Blake is telling me that we have to leave here in nine minutes or we're going to miss the flight. All right. Let me give you a few industry specific examples. I just wrote this because I'm training a huge real estate wholesaling company tomorrow in Tampa Bay. At a keynote. So I thought I'd give you one for that. All right. Notice how it, it, it doesn't matter what it is here. John, between you and I and off the record, what's the main reason why you're looking to possibly sell the property? Notice my tone. Between you and I and off the record, what's the real reason you're looking to possibly sell the home? All right. See how we're doing that? Let me give you a couple other industry specifics. Let's say if you sold life insurance or mortgage protection, we train tens of thousands in that industry as well. John, between you and I and off the record, what's the main reason you're looking for more financial protection for the family? See how I did that? Lowered my voice. It's all in the voice too, all right? Let's say if you sold cars, trained thousands in that industry too. Um, John, between you and I and off the record, what's the main reason you're looking for a newer car rather than just keeping the Honda that you have now? Okay. See how that works? Okay. Solar. Let's say if you sell solar, we said train thousands in that space too. John, between you and I and off the record, what's the real reason you're looking at possibly going solar rather than having to keep paying for all the rate hikes from Duke Energy? See how that is? Same thing. Okay. It's humanizing the sales conversation. Let's say if you're in B2B sales, let's say you sell medical device sales and you're talking to a hospital or a doctor. Dr. Jones, um, between you and I and off the record, what's the main reason you're looking to reduce your operative time? If that's what you solved, okay? By your knee implant, let's just say that. Let's say if you sold SaaS, okay, to companies. Uh, to help them recruit better truck drivers. I'm just randomly throwing something out. We train thousands in that space too. See, it doesn't matter what you're in. We train everybody at this point, all right? John, between you and I and off the record, what's the main reason you're looking for more effective ways to recruit better drivers? Okay, notice my tone. 
Okay. I work at Honda and sell cars. Thanks for giving that example. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, brother. You know what I mean? Just plug in some, what's the main reason why you're looking for a newer Honda rather than just driving the Kia that you have now? There you go. Bunny 0605. All right. Perfect. So you can substitute that. Here's a generic version. Okay. Um, John, between you and I and off the record, what's the main problem that you guys are having right now? See, that's just a generic one. Between you and I and off the record, between you and I and off, do this. When you say off the record, do this, do this, even if you're on the phone, because it affects your what? Your tonality, okay? But especially if they see you. Between you and I and off the record, what's the main challenges that you guys are having right now? Okay, see how you do that? All right, that's a generic version, generic, all right? That's to get people to open up. What's the best context for this? To get people open up. Let's say you're halfway through the conversation and they're not opening up. How are you gonna get them to open up, all right? Uh, all right, here's another generic version. Uh, no, here's a generic version for solar. John, between you and I and off the record, what's really holding you back so that you can What's really holding you back from moving forward so you can stop paying these rate hikes to Duke that's forcing that they're forcing you to pay or whatever energy company that you're competing against? I don't know. All right. Uh, here's another one. Uh, let's say it's for wholesale. John, between you and I and off the record, what's really holding you back from selling the property so you don't go into foreclosure and your credit gets destroyed? See how I'm doing that? It doesn't matter the industry. I could literally do this for every industry on planet earth, which we do. All right, let's say if you sold B2B business consulting uh, or data services, you help companies get the right data so they can scale their companies. John, between you and I and off the record, what's really holding you back so you can have the right tools in place to measure data so you can scale the company? What's really holding you back from moving forward so you can really start measuring data so you guys can scale? All right. I'd love to give you more examples, but I have to catch a flight to my keynote in Tampa. Now, if you want to start acquiring, because this is just basic stuff that I just showed you right there. It's just a little nibble. OK, if you want to start making your first 10 grand a month in commissions with what you sell right now, every month, if you want to start making 15,000 every single month in commissions. Let's say that you want to start making 20,000 a month in commissions in your industry or 30,000 a month in your commissions. Let's say you're already making 30. Well, do you want to have the skill sets to now start making 40 or 50 or 60,000 a month in commissions in your industry? Because I can assure you, we are training salespeople in your same industry that make that amount of commissions every frigging month. Okay. So if you want to acquire those skills that work with human behavior rather than work against it, message me directly right now. If you're on IG, message me directly right now. If you're on TikTok, message me directly right now. If you're in the Facebook group, Sales Revolution or LinkedIn or the Facebook business page or my Facebook, message me directly right now. You don't have to keep getting slapped in the face and punched in the nose by your prospects just because you don't know what to say and ask that trigger them to want to engage and open up to you. Once you learn what we show you that our clients have learned, that's why we have over 11,000 testimonials in two and a half years. There is no other sales training company on planet Earth that has that. And most of them have been in business five times longer than we have. There's some companies that have been since the 70s that don't have the testimonials we have in the first three and a half years of our company existing. So you want to acquire those skills. Message me directly right now. If you're on YouTube, you have to post hashtag NEPQ. And if you're an old guy like me and you can't figure out social media, if you can't figure out how to go and message me personally, then just post hashtag NEPQ, post hashtag NEPQ, and either myself or one of my surrogates, one of my stunt doubles will message you back so you know the training options that we have for your industry so you can sell more. Okay. Love, peace, all of you. We won't have a live tomorrow inside the Facebook group. I'll be up on stage in Tampa Bay. We will have a live in our Facebook group where I answer your questions only in our Facebook group on Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern. So if you're on IG and LinkedIn and YouTube and TikTok and you're not in our Facebook group, uh, we're going to give you the link. I'm going to have somebody post that in there. Maybe Felicia, Val, if you guys could post that. Uh, go to salesrevolution.pro. So go to sales. I think Sam looking good. Thank you very much. All right. 
Uh, Miss Spain, thank you for your comments. Um, SalesRevolution.pro. So go to enjoy our free state of Florida. I will, Nicole. Thank you. All right. So go to SalesRevolution.pro. That is the Facebook group, SalesRevolution.pro. I don't know where my team's at. They're probably working hard. SalesRevolution.pro. I'm going to type it in here. SalesRevolution.pro. SalesRevolution.pro. That is your last time. So go to SalesRevolution.pro. You should come to Puerto Rico. Well, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Go to SalesRevolution.pro. Okay, guys. Love you. I will see you on Thursday when I'm back in action. Thanks, everybody. Hope that little nibble helped you a little bit today. Join our free Facebook group. Go to www.salesrevolution.pro. We should have a link on here somewhere. Salesrevolution.pro. Right when you join the salesrevolution.pro Facebook group, because we've got thousands of entrepreneurs in there, thousands of salespeople like you, thousands of coaches, consultants, executives in there that want to sell more. Right when you join, check your DMs because we're going to message you. Some of my team is going to message you a free training called the NEPQ 101 mini course. It's going to give you a list of different questions and phrases you can use in any sales situation. That alone is going to help you sell more than what you're doing now. And we go live in the Facebook group about three to four times a week with different subject matter trainings, different Q&As, different client interviews that will also help you sell more. Join the Facebook group salesrevolution.pro. See you there.